Have a nice day students. Today we discuss about the animal cell. Animal cell, this cell present in the all the animals. So what is the basic feature of animal cell? They having no cell wall in their structure. It having the outermost membrane, we call them cell membrane. This is the animal cell. This animal cell having the outermost layer, we call it the cell membrane. So this is the this structure is known as the plasma membrane as well as cell membrane. So this is the outermost layer of the cell. So this, this structure is known as the cell membrane. In the case of animal cell, this is the outermost layer in the case of animal cell. There is no cell wall because cell wall is the outermost layer in the case of plant cell wall. The second point here, in the case of animal cell, the nucleus is present in the center of the cell. This is the nucleus here. This is the nucleus. In, the, in this diagram, this, this structure is known as the nucleus. This is the nucleus. This structure is called the nucleus and it having the membrane, we call them nuclear and well up a nuclear membrane. It having the another minute structure inside them, this is known as the nucleus. So in this case of nucleus, it is having the another structure, we call it the nucleus. Another important feature in the case of animal cell, the animal cell having the centrioles and centrosomes. This is present only in the animal cell. So, in, near the nucleus, another structure is present in the animal cell. This structure is known as the centriole and nucleus. It is present centriole near the nucleus and centrosome. This is present only in the animal cell. In the case of this structure is known as the Golgi body, it is also present in the animal cell. This is the Golgi body. This is the Golgi body. The another structure we call the mitochondria it is also present in the case of animal cell. This is the mitochondria. This is the mitochondria. This is structure is known as the mitochondria in this diagram. The mitochondria is the number of mitochondria depend on the activity of the cell. This is the mitochondria. This is the mitochondria in the cell. It is responsible for the energy production inside the cell. Another important structure in the mitochondria in the cell, they are having the endoplasmic reticulum. This membranous structure is known as the endoplasmic reticulum (ER). It is two type in the case of animal cell as well as in plant cell also. This structure having the ribosome, so we call them rough endoplasmic reticulum. If having no ribosome, we call them smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So this is the ER endoplasmic reticulum. So here this structure is known as the endoplasmic reticulum. This structure is known as the endoplasmic reticulum. This is known as the endoplasmic reticulum here. Another important structure is also present in the case of animal cell. We call it the lysosomes. Lysosomes are the waste disposal systems form. Here lysosomes are the structure which is responsible for the decomposition of waste material inside the cell. Animal cell also having the lysosomes. These are the lysosomes. Ribosomes also present in the animal cell. They are responsible for the protein synthesis. So here the ribosomes are present. Here the in the eukaryotic animal cell, they are the ATS ribosomes here. They are responsible for protein synthesis in the cell. They are present in the plant cell as well as in animal cell in both cells. The liquid which is present inside this cell, this is known as the the liquid which is present inside the cell, this is known as the cytoplasm. This is known as the cytoplasm. The liquid which is present inside we call them cytosol as well as cytoplasm in the cell. So this is the structure of animal cell. This is the eukaryotic cell and well developed cell in the living beings in the animals. Another cell we discuss here, plant cell. This is the plant cell. So what is the unique feature of the plant cell? They are having the outermost layer, we call it the cell wall. So this is the outermost layer in the plant body. This is known as the cell wall. It made up of cellulose. This is the cell wall. 
it is made up of cellulose it is absent in the animal cell and it outermost in the plant cell after the plant cell, uh, cell wall they having the cell membrane inside the cell this is the cell membrane it is made up of protein and lipid in the case of plant cell also it is outermost layer in the case of animal cell so this is the cell membrane this is the second outermost layer in the case of plant cell it having the liquid inside it we call them cytoplasm or cytosol cytoplasm or cytosol in the case of plant cell another important feature here it having a very large vacuole this structure is known as the vacuole present inside the cell this large vacuole is present in the plant cell this is the vacuole so this structure here this is the vacuole here and this is the outermost layer we call them cell wall and the second membrane we call them cell membrane in the case of plant cell plant cell having the nucleus which is present in the peripheral position in the case of uh, plant cell it having the nucleus also but it is present in the peripheral position in the case of animal it is central in position so this is the nucleus in the case of animal cell in the case of plant cell sorry in the animal cell it is present in the central position this is another important structure present in the plant we call them chloroplast chloroplast is the responsible for the photosynthesis in the case of plant cell so this is the chloroplast which is responsible for photosynthesis it is present only in the plant cell and second largest cell organ in the case of plant cell another important feature also present we call the mitochondria mitochondria is present in the plant cell this is responsible for the production of energy in the plant cell this is the mitochondria the number of mitochondria depend on the activity of the cell if the cell required more energy they having more number of mitochondria if the cell having less number uh, required less number of uh, less amount of energy so they having the less number of mitochondria plant cell also having the ribosomes these ribosomes also ats the plant cell also having the ribosomes they having the ribosomes they are ats they are also responsible for protein synthesis in the plant body they are also present in the chloroplast also but they are the 70s they are responsible for protein synthesis in the cell now we discuss about the what is the comparison between plant cell and animal cell so here two diagrams they show the plant cell and animal cell this is the plant cell this is the plant cell it having the outermost layer we call it the cell wall this is the outermost layer we call it the cell wall it having the chloroplast it having the vacuoles large vacuoles so this is the main unique feature of the plant cell and in the case of animal cell it having the nucleus in the center so what is the difference between plant cell and animal cell the plant cell having the having the chloroplast first thing second thing it having the large vacuoles and third one it having the peripheral nucleus peripheral nucleus now in the case of animal cell what are the unique feature in the case of animal cell it having the centrosome or centrioles which is responsible for the cell division in the case of animal cell if having the small size vacuole so this is the unique feature of plant cell and animal cell now we discuss about the prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cells so what are the prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells pro it means primitive primitive if the cells are primitive in nature we call them prokaryotic 
कैरियोटिक इट मीस न्यूक्लियस इफ द सेल्स है प्रमिटिव न्यूक्लियस इन इट्स स्ट्रक्चर वी कॉल दम प्रोक्रियोटिक सेल इन द केस ऑफ यू कैरियोटिक सेल यू इट मीस एडवांस कैरियोटिक इट मीस न्यूक्लियस इफ द सेल है एडवांस न्यूक्लियस वी कॉल दम यू कैरियोटिक सेल्स सो वॉट आर द बेसिक डिफरेंस एंड कंपेरिजन ऑफ प्रोक्रियोटिक एंड यू कैरियोटिक सेल सो फर्स्ट पॉइंट इन द केस ऑफ प्रोक्रियोटिक सेल इट है वेरी प्रमिटिव न्यूक्लियस और इनसिपियंट न्यूक्लियस इनसिपियंट न्यूक्लियस और प्रमिटिव न्यूक्लियस वेल द यू क्रिटिक सेल है सेकेंड द प्रोक्रिटिक सेल्स है ओनली सेवेंटी एस राइबोसोम्स वाइल इन द यू क्रिटिक सेल इन द साइटोप्लाज इट है एटीएस राइबोसोम्स इन केस ऑफ ऑर्गेनिल सेल ऑर्गेनिल लाइक माइट्रोकोन्ड्रिया एंड क्लोरोप्लास्ट इट है उंडेड सेल और Another important feature in the case of eukaryotic cell and prokaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells and prokaryotic cells. Prokaryotic cells are divided by a mitotic division, a mitotically divided. And in the case of eukaryotic, they are the divided with the help of mitosis and meiosis. So these are the two cells. First cell we call them eukaryotic cell. This is the eukaryotic cell. it is the well developed cells and second one we call them prokaryotic cell prokaryotic cells this is the bacterial cell or prokaryotic cell this is the prokaryotic cell prokaryotic cell or bacterial cell in the case of bacterial cell there is no nucleus this is the dna material which is which is having no nucleus there is no cell organelle they are in the plasmids they are in the ribosomes which are 70s only cytoplasm plasma membrane cell wall and capsules are there but there is no cell organelle so this is the basic difference between prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell in the case of prokaryotic cell there is no well developed chromosome no well developed chromosomes only single circular dna is present in the case of eukaryotic they having the well developed chromosomes which is responsible for the transmission of heredity material from one generation to another generation so okay thanks this is the